even Plato, Plato said that this is must for a ruler to be a philosopher. And he said a philosopher should be a ruler. If a ruler, he is not a philosopher, he said he will be an unsuccessful ruler. Because he said life means philosophy. What is philosophy? That ilmun bi ahwal al-mawjudat. To know about the things in his existence. That what is its use? What is the wisdom therein? He said this is life. So if you don't know that, how you will rule it? Yes, so I was mentioning that actually for philosophy, mantik is the ala. Logic is the ala. That is the tool of philosophy. For example, if you are a good mason or a good carpenter, but you don't have the tools, what you can do? Can you work as a mason? For example, if you are a philosopher, but you don't have mantik, so how you can use it? So mantik is the ala of philosophy. And philosophy, that's the need of life. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yes. There is the, the Shias, they study, but the wrong thing with Shia is that they study philosophy only. <laughs> 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 yes, so it means that they are busy in tools only. <laughs> They are not doing things with tools. Because they don't study hadith, they don't believe in it. Yes? They don't study Quran even. Only surface things. How much uh, mantak and falsafa should you learn to learn the hadaya and nur and what are really good? Actually, uh, what was fixed by Mullah Nizamuddin in Darsin Nizami, so that was must. At least it should be up to Sulla Muralum. Yes, but in our time, what we were studying in Mantik only, we were starting from Majmu'a and Mantik. After Majmu'a and Mantik, we used to study Isa Goji. After Isa Goji, we used to study Mirqat. After Mirqat, we used to study Shartazi. Then, we were studying Qala Kul. Then after that, we were studying Mirza Qutbi. After that, we were studying Sulla Mulalum. After Sulla Mulalum, <coughs> we were studying Mirza Hid. Then we were studying Mullah Jalal. After that, we were studying Mullah Hassan. Then we were studying uh, Qazi Mubarak. And we were studying Alhamdulillah. Yes. Now, even in madrasa, the student they don't know they don't know the names even. Oh. <laughs> Those names of the books Kaisab he mentioned are more books than the syllabus now. <laughs> <laughs> Was it like that for fifth too, Kaisab? Huh? Was it uh, like that for fifth too? That that amount that was for a month. For fifth. Perfect was also that, that big. Let me tell you. At that time, one small book which was the start. Later on, when I knew a little bit fiqh, so I dropped that book. That that book is not good. But anyhow, we were studying that. That's called Khulasa Kidani. So after Khulasa Kidani, we were studying Munjat al Musalli. After Munjat al Musalli, there was no Rulizah. <coughs> there was Kanzu Daqaiq. After Kanzu Daqaiq, we were studying Mukhtasar al -Wikaya. After Mukhtasar al -Wikaya, we were studying Sharh al -Wikaya. We were studying Sharh al -Yas. We were studying Ramz al -Haqaiq. And then we were going to Hidayah. Quduri koi padta ta, koi ni padta ta. That was the case. Even in Arabic literature, you were starting from Ufid al-Talibin. Then after that, Nafkhat al-Yaman. Then Nafkhat al-Arab. 
في المقامات حريري لأن في المقامات حريري we were going to Mutanabbi and to Sharf al-Himas and to Sab'a Mu'allaqa It was a routine text at that time Sheikh Mamdaw al-Haq studied the same but after our time that was there only for three or four years then they were cutting every year Yes, we don't have that much time. Don't have that much time. Don't have that much time. What was the reason? I know we don't. We are saying we don't have the reason. The reason <laughs> why taking something out of something so beautiful and just watering it down was was the use. 